Greetings citizens. We are Anonymous Youngstown. In observance of the March Against Monsanto 2016, we would like to share with you some valuable strategies for avoiding genetically modified produce and other products with GMO content. This is important because the corporate mainstream media is attempting to craft the national discussion on the topic in such a way that the main argument is rather GMOs themselves are safe or not. This is not the real issue. Rather, the issue is that GMOs are produced in order to protect crops from the harmful effects of Roundup, which is documented to be chemically similar to Agent Orange. But while the crops treated with GMOs can resist the negative effects of Roundup and other toxic weak killers, we are consuming the residue when we eat these crops, and ingestion of such toxins has been documented to contribute to a number of health conditions ranging from food allergies to hypertension and a number of different forms of cancer. See the links in the video description below for further information. However, there are things that we all can do right now, today, to remove genetically modified organisms from our diets. Here are a few ideas that we would like to share with you. The very best idea is to grow your own organic vegetables. This can be done in your own backyard, or by participating in a shared urban gardening project, or, if space is limited, by growing organic vegetables in pots. The important thing is to grow something. Share what you grow with your neighbors and teach them to grow organic vegetables too. See a crop by crop guide to growing organic vegetables and fruits, published by Mother Earth News, in the description below for detailed information on how to get started. The second best idea is to buy fruits and vegetables from local farmers markets and food co-ops that support organic gardening. By shopping at such markets you will also be supporting local farmers and enriching your local community in a way that shopping at your local chain supermarket can and do. Another idea is to shop at locally owned, health conscious supermarkets. Such stores will likely have staff who are aware of the issues surrounding genetically modified food, and may even label non-GMO products on the shelves. Another option worth investigating are to becoming familiar with the non-GMO project and specifically their list of verified products, and look for the non-GMO verification when you are shopping. The non-GMO project conducts intensive on-site verification of all products they certify as GMO-free, and those products can be found in stores nationally. Their categories of verified products are, alternative dairy products, baby food and infant formula, beverages, body care products, breads and baked goods, candy, chocolate, desserts and sweeteners, cereal and breakfast foods, condiments, oils, dressings and spreads, dairy products, fruits and vegetables, grains, beans and flour, herbs, spices and other ingredients, meat, fish and eggs, mercantile products, packaged and frozen meals, pasta, pet products, planting seed and animal feed snack foods and bars, soups and sauces, spirits, beer and wine, tofu, tempeh and alternative meat products, vitamins and supplements, and wholesale ingredients. Finally, smartphone users can download the Bicot app, which will allow you to scan barcodes while shopping to determine GMO content of items. It is possible for all of us to eliminate harmful GMO products from our diets today, without government labeling. Join the growing movement in opposition to GM food today. Knowledge is power.